Good time, my dear student, 90 grade. Please open with me uh, your book, to, uh, Unit 7, Times of Change, page 66. Okay, today we will discuss with each other what the mean of time, times of change. You know now, like nowadays, every time I give you a lesson and a lecture and we have together and discuss everything to each other, you are sitting on your chairs, um, I am on the board and discussing everything, but now I can't do this and you can't come to school and I cannot to. So we are able to, but it's prohibited. So we are prohibited to not to do that. So times of change, every time will there is something change in our life. Your, uh, uh -huh. According to our mobiles, in the past we used to just use Bluetooth, buttons, now you can touch, uh, you have a touch screen, Wi-Fi, not just the internet from uh, da mobile data you can uh, easily uh, use your uh, Wi-Fi. Now you can open your our channel and you can watch the lesson from your home, right? This is what we say homeschooled, okay? Now we do it because it is time to change because something happened in our life and we have to fix the problem, inshallah. Okay. Uh, the great moon hawks, check of the moon, but the great rumor, I think something happened in the moon, uh, not real, but fake, but there's something happened in real life to people there. Look at this. On the moon, there is a creature, it's not human being, it's a creature with wings. Oh my God, I can't imagine. It is a monkey, not a bird, not human. Look like something else. Okay. Let's know what, what is happening. Question number one. When did this form of communication appear? Put them in the correct order, uh, starting with the earliest. Okay, telephone, email, telegram, television. Uh, I think the first thing is, okay, uh, telegram, television, email, telephone. The first one, I think it was telegram, telephone, television. No, television before telephone. Telephone and email. It's okay. We will see after reading because it's the, before re read, we have to read and scan. Scan. Can you? So, can you think of any other form of communication? Yes, I can think about um, scanner. Email, Facebook, everything is a way of communication. The great moon hawks. Let's start and I'll discuss each one with you. We live in a time when communication is very easy. Live television pictures are sent from the other side of the world. Faxes and emails are sent and received almost instantly. And phone calls are made, the mobile phones from uh, wherever we are. But it wasn't always like this. And not so long ago, news was communicated much more slowly. This is the story of a hoax, which was only possible because global communication didn't exist in 1834. Okay. So the first paragraph is discussing the um, the first paragraph is discussing what uh, what uh, the difference between communication in the past and nowadays. Nowadays, if everything everything is exist, everything what is easy and uh, quickly uh, everything is quickly happened. If I send you a fax, it is in a sense to you know, directly um, you will receive it okay or uh, if we are have a chatting on our phone we can do everything but there is a hoax in 1834 in 1834 there's something happened uh, because that not exists in that time so what happened look in January 1834 the British astronomer John Harchill arrived to South Africa to study the stars. He intended to uh, create maps of the southern night 
skies, which were not visible from Europe. To do this, he had the most powerful telescope of the time. Yeah, okay, astronomer uh, going to South Africa to discuss the the um, the night there, the sky, uh, the space. Okay, he have a telescope, so uh, he went there to for studying. Okay. Richard Luke, a newspaper journalist on the New York Sun, heard the Herschel's, Herschel's story and came up with an amazing idea. It's amazing. It's amusing. Sorry. Uh -huh, I can't see very good because I'm making a video. Amusing idea. He decided to make up a... Uh, pretend, pretend that they were taken from scientific uh, journal. It took months to travel to the South Africa and back, and so it would be a long time before people found that there is a story was were false. Remember that there were no telegrams or telephone that time. Okay, in that time there is no telephone, no uh, telegrams, and the journey was uh, taking. A lot of months. So, a journalist of the newspaper, New York newspaper, he decided to make a fake and or a false story about something happened with the journey, and he want to give them a news to what well, to go uh, to collect a good sellers for his news. Okay, and t t there is a time to. Uh, everybody uh, don't know the real story. The first article was printed in the New York Sun on 25 August 1834. And it, in, the, uh, in it, Herschel's wonderful new telescope was described. Then, over the next few days, Luke made up stories about all the things that Herschel had come across on the moon. Okay, he said that there is a new telescope invented and have it for Herschel. Uh, so, Luke made up a story that about the moon, something happened in the moon. Luke described the trees and the flowers. Oh my God, there's in the moon trees and the flowers. Oceans and beach, beaches and wild animals in the and birds. The description were so good that they were believed by everyone, even scientists. So Luke kept on writing them. I will describe there is something else that is a life. He made a life in another word, okay? Sorry. Then Luke wrote an incredible story. He said that Herschels had seen human like creatures, uh -huh, a human creatures on the moon, which were four feet on, in height. Four feet, okay, the height is four feet. Uh, were covered with short brown hair. I told you that it's covering your hair, except on the face, yes, as you see. Um, and had wings. Okay, this is the creature who is a fake too. On the moon too, come on. Wow. Also on the moon. The news created a stir and the news, uh, New York Sun became the best selling newspaper in the country. So he reached his goal. He won a good seller because of his fake stories and false stories and he success with that. It was all brought uh, to on abrupt, um, abrupt, and a few weeks later, when people found out that the stories were all invented by Luke, it was one of the last ch ch uh, chances for anyone to play a trick like this. Over the news, 50 years, the start of the information age was marked by a stream of a new invention. So, uh, this is for a few weeks. Then they found the stories uh, that is just made, invented by Luke. He's invented this, these false stories. Uh, it is the last time everyone hit a rumor or hawk's trick. Um, it was one, the last time we said it. So, over the next 50 years, 
The start of the information age was marked by a stream of new inventions. Okay, there's new inventions, no one can lie. Uh, the first telegram was sent by Sumail Morse in 1844 then in 1876 the first spoken words were sent and received by alexander graham Bell. over his now inventions the telephone the world would never be the same again okay so nothing because of these inventions no one can make uh, false stories on or trickies so uh thanks for god thanks for inventors that invent these things to life thank you for today see you next time